on Doc with LT episode 120. This episode's brought to you by stackwap.com. Stackwap.com slash shop for your SGE merch. Use promo code Blunt Talk, capital B, capital T, no space. Get 10% off everything in the SGE store. Make sure that you subscribe to the podcast if you're not subscribed already. Make sure that you like the clips, comment on the clips. Uh, it helps with the algorithm, helps with the growth of the show. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the audio podcast, uh, subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, all that shit. Okay, we're going to get right into it. Um, Leangelo Ball. Leangelo Ball officially signed with the Detroit Pistons, a non-guaranteed contract. A lot of people are just kind of reaching and kind of just saying, oh, it's a G League contract. It's blah, blah, blah. Trying to dismiss his contract completely. But he's actively... Uh, in training camp with the team currently is still playing with the team right now so it's not like he was one of the early cuts he can possibly make the roster and if not then he's guaranteed a g-league spot so this this is official news that leandro ball has made the league you have all three ball brothers in the league at this point and it's like leandro ball had a couple of years to develop after he did not get drafted the first time around i feel like he's developed enough he he's always been a great shooter he's the best shooter out of the three most consistent he doesn't have to change his shot form like it's nba ready he has nba size already i feel like he'll be a good role player a good shooter off the bench for a team especially the pistons the pistons ain't a good team right now they can use leangelo ball i know in the future if Lamelo and leangelo play together and lonzo that that'll be a problem people don't want to see it that way and be like oh lavar ball is just talking out his ass but that high that chino hills team before any of them were even as great as they are now that team was unstoppable. They know each other on the court. They know each other's minds. They know how to play together. It's instant chemistry. It's like you can't buy chemistry. You can't teach that. Well, you can. I guess you can teach it. But at the end of the day, it's like four out of those five starters from that Chino Hills team is in the NBA right now. So, you know, they, they made it as far as they were supposed to make it, that undefeated Chino Hills team. Uh, they tried to underrate Jello for the longest time. Although he was the lead scorer on that team and one of the lead scorers in the nation for like the longest. And they kept sleeping on him because of the aesthetic of his game. It wasn't aesthetically pleasing. It wasn't LaMelo Ball style game where it's just highlight after highlight. But he does get the job done. So shout out to Jello. Shout out to the Ball family. Always been a supporter of the Ball family. Uh, it's good for them that they're all three in the NBA. Hopefully they could... Uh, Hopefully, LaMelo can make an all-star team because really and truly, I don't see it happening for Lonzo or maybe Leandro. I don't know about Leandro either. I don't think he's making an all-star team. But hopefully in the career, LaMelo can make an all-star team. And there, he's playing in the East, so is Jello. So uh, there's more of a chance in the East, although the East is kind of getting a little more stacked. Everyone's trying to come to the East. You have Harden trying to come to the East. It's just getting crazy. All right, so let's get to them fuck shit. Let's get to the fuck shit videos and reactions. Um... Recently, the shit's been um, trending. I hope. See, this is a problem I have with YouTube. Let me just uh, let everybody know because they're like, oh, maybe the uploads have been inconsistent. I'm not here all the time. This is not like people have to understand how many of my episodes get taken down from YouTube. Every time I'm ready to put an episode out, like this is the second 120, like things get demonetized, not just demonetized. They get taken down off YouTube completely because of the content that I cover. But a lot of the times there's very it's very inconsistent. So it's like there's no specific guidelines for me to know, okay, this episode's going to get fucked with because the last episode was way worse and it's not fucked with. It's like certain things are very inconsistent in what they allow to be put on YouTube and from what channels. And there's a lot of automated shit because of the whole COVID thing going on. So a lot of things are being stripped and you can't even contest it really because you're not talking to a human, you're talking to an automated machine. So it's like it's fucked up. But um, anyhow, let's get to this this reaction. Hopefully, this shit doesn't get my whole thing compromised. Basically, this guy recently got donkey of the day, too, because he's a football coach that was slapping the dog shit out of his young 10-year-old players. So let's watch this video and react to this. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Whoa. Oh. What the hell? Wow. What the? Hey, this is going viral. What the hell? Oh, 
Okay, so this went viral, a lot of social media outrage. And for me, I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, the other coach was there. He looked like his twin brother from the back. He's just thinking the same size, he looked like the same person. Um, he didn't say shit. He didn't look at that coach and be like, why the fuck you slapping the shit out your players? He just like, whatever. The refs, I don't know if the refs can see it. I don't know who was on the sidelines. I don't know if there should have been parents or people going crazy. You've seen, you know, your coach slapping the shit out of your little players. It's like, what the hell? That could be your son on the, on the field right there. It's like, what? I don't know what happened to that guy. I think he was arrested. I should have watched the, the donkey of the day to get the whole report on what the hell happened. But that's fucked up. If that was my kid, that nigga, if I'd have to see that nigga. I'd have to see him. Like, that's ridiculous. I would have thought there would have been more outrage instantly on the field there. But, you know, I guess that, I don't know, man. That shit's weird. Even as a ref, if I'm a ref, that's not my team. I'll be like, hey, what the fuck you doing, my nigga? Like, you can't be doing that shit. But it is what it is. All right, what else do we got here? Casanova recently arrested on RICO charges and... It's bringing up this huge debate online and people going in on Vlad and Vlad TV because the the cops, the feds are saying that they're using things and quotes and references from a Vlad TV interview with Casanova and others. And I'm looking at that and everyone's going in on Vlad and it's like, yeah, Vlad's kind of already been canceled by a lot of niggas for the shit he did with uh, the minister. Uh, Godfrey, Lord Jamar, my son. Uh, Royce to 5'9", all these guys canceled Vlad, they ain't fucking with Vlad over that, so he's already been canceled by a, a few of his contemporary, but people now, like the fans, trying to cancel him over this, but the thing is, Vlad's subscribers are still high, Vlad's numbers are still high, they're going in on Vlad and saying, you know, it's Vlad's fault and blah blah blah, but at the end of the day, I have to defend Vlad on this, because at the end of the day, if you're interviewing anyone on any platform, it's up to the individual to share whatever they're sharing, the information they're sharing. Even if he asks you a fucked up question, you're like, why would you ask that question? Are you the feds? It's your responsibility not to answer the question and be on point and know what the hell can get you in some bullshit. So that's me more of just standing up for platforms, interviews, uh, radio stations, any podcasts, anything. You got to be careful with your words. You got to know what you're saying. You got to be responsible and accountable for your own actions, your own words. So I'm not going to put that on Vlad's platform. Although Vlad do be asking some, you know, fed ass questions. It's like it's up to you to know better at the end of the day. So I can't even I can't even put that on Vlad. Little baby caught cheating on Jada with Miss London after she exposes that he paid her 6K and, you know, outed their whole shit in vegas and it's like she signed an nda i have pictures do i have pictures here showing the fucking the receipt she signed an nda they have conversation back and forth on uh dms ig dms it's like you signed an nda he's paying you for the pussy he's in a relationship it's like his birthday weekend or some bullshit i listen i'm not condoning cheating at the end of the day, if you're in a relationship, you should, you know, be faithful to whoever you're in a relationship with because otherwise just be single and fuck whoever you want to fuck. So I'm not going to condone cheating and everyone be out here like I'm condoning cheating. But at the end of the day, if you're paying for some pussy, like shouldn't like she signed an NDA as well. But it's like just the, without the NDA, you're paying for some pussy. You're paying for some pussy and you're going to tell the world like what the fuck is that? Like you. <sighs> Like, that's unheard of type of shit. Like, the things people do for clout, like, this girl's going to get sued. She signed an NDA. But besides the NDA, why would you feel compelled to go talk? Trying to ruin someone's relationship? Like, he paid for the pussy. This is not no, uh, you know, he met you in the club and he's cheating on his girl with some girl he's fucking with now and he's trying to start a new family with this girl. It's he paid you for the pussy and you're outing him. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that shit's funny. All right, what else do we got here? Okay, so viral video going viral. For me, I look at this, and I'm like, there's no masks in this on the subway. I don't think this is new, but let's watch this video and react. Uh, here we go. Ooh, 
Bruce Biggs. <laughs> and she looks like she didn't give a fuck. No one really gave a fuck. Everybody mind their business. And we could see a little bit more of that in society. People minding their damn business. But, um, yeah, she sparked up. She didn't care. She should have been smoking a blunt. Why is she smoking a cigarette? Yikes, that shit stinks in close, uh, confined spaces. But, you know, must have been very stressed. No one bothered her at all. She did her thing. I don't think that video is new. It's going viral now, but no mask, close confinement, subway system, transit, public transit. I don't think that's new. No social distancing. That's definitely an old video. But, you know, it is what it is. If I was on a train like that, I would have let, I would have just mind my business too. If you're that stressed, you feel like you're sparking up, that's not my business. It's not my responsibility to you know kind of just push the rules it is what it is so shout out to everybody for minding the damn business uh what else do we got here okay so meek mill is getting dragged for giving kids 20 dollars okay let's watch the video i don't even understand this here we go I'm not gonna split it. What you just gave him, bitch, bro? Don't put your hand on my car. Bitch, bro, that one time, me. Yo, I just gave y'all money, man. Man, y'all gotta split that money, man. It's 20 Fuck, that's a dog. Yeah, man. Honestly, that just sounds funny. You see a bunch of group. Nah, y'all gotta split it. It's $20. Like, $20. Isn't a lot of money to be splitting for anybody, but if it's like if you're doing something, I think they were selling some shit on the street, hustling, making some money. He's giving you charity. He's giving you twenty dollars towards your fun. It's like people see these rich celebrities. You should be happy you could see them get a picture or something by their whip or whatever. It's like to feel entitled for twenty dollars. I know these are some like broke kids, you know, hustling to get their money. So shout out to anybody even like looking out for them and supporting their shit, but. There's outrage over it. Everybody's going in on me. You can be like, you know, you couldn't support more, blah, blah, blah. What if he didn't have that cash on him because he had it in his card or whatever? It's like, I look at that and I'm like, yo, is that really like he donates so much money? I guess he probably should have just drove by and never give them nothing. Like, that's the way I look at it. It would have been better if he drove by and never gave them nothing because $20 is too little and it's going to start an outrage. Clearly, the kids were not satisfied. The internet was not satisfied. But. Let's be real. Social media always finds an excuse to go in on Meek. Social media, Twitter, the women on Twitter always go in on Meek. They just don't like him. Anything he does, a lot of Nikki fans too, go in on Meek. It's like, it is what it is. You're going to see outrage for anything. I don't think that's a big deal. He gave them $20. He supported their fun. If that was me and a high-profile celebrity just gave me fucking money for anything I was doing, I'd be happy, even if it was $20. Like, people don't understand. Jamal McGlure, ex-NBA basketball player, was in the hood all the time. Every nigga in cross tracks knows Jamal McGlure. Nobody asked Jamal McGlure for anything. Not for no uh, money, not for no pictures, not for no hookups on nothing, no no seats at uh, uh, NBA game, nothing. Nobody asked him for shit. We seen him so much, it was just, it was normal. It's like, I don't know. I don't even know why. That's a big deal, but it is what it is. Internet's always going to find a big deal out of nothing. Uh, what else do we got here? Okay, so Complex has announced that they're canceling Everyday Struggle. Ends December 17th. Uh, pretty much actively firing DJ Academics. Nadeska's still going to be on the roster doing other miscellaneous things for Complex. But really and truly, it's like Academics fired Complex academics now being free from complex is going to be a whole different type of okay let me play the video first and then we react to them saying whatever they got to say then i'm gonna break it all down before we get into all of the music news guys we do have some news of our own so thursday december 17th is going to be the final episode of everyday struggle for those of you who've been rocking with us since april 2017 you know it's been a very very <laughs> eventful ride we've had a lot of highs a lot of lows and i think this is really the end of an era act bueno i'm definitely gonna miss you guys this has been like a great experience i look up and i'm like damn i've been doing this for three years almost you know what i'm saying so it's like it's kind of ill. I, I, I love waking up and speaking about like topics with y'all too. So it's it's going to be take a little bit of getting used to, but you know, we go for it. I think we all grow. I think we all are at the point where it's nothing where we're about to be like, okay, all right, these niggas are like just, they're all going to be washed up out of here. I think we all have other steps and other levels to get to, but 
I felt it was definitely necessary for the fans to have a proper send off. And, you know, um, thanks to Complex as a platform for allowing us to rock. Okay, so the way I look at it, it's like, okay, they did 100,000 100, views per episode. Decent numbers, not the greatest, not enough to pay academic salary because academics brings in too much interest by himself like you're not going to be able to pay these niggas and i think that's pr primarily one of the reasons why the show actively ended because they can't afford these guys at the at these prices at, at nowadays because academics is too big as a brand like when you look at it they were doing zoom episodes for like almost a full year now where these guys are just on their phone or their laptop in their crib doing an episode collecting a bag academics already has a way bigger infrastructure for him to do his own show he's already starting a new podcast he already has his own page that does way more numbers than everyday struggle if anything everyday struggle took academics away from a lot of the shit on youtube and left rooms and spaces for you know other people coming up to kind of fill the void and get their their clout and their type of views because he was being taken away by complex it's like yeah he was putting out he was putting out material and content for them but he could do so much more by himself without complex and make way more money so i think 2021 you're gonna see a lot more from academics because he is one of the initial content creators that really made themselves big out of nowhere so it is what it takes sometimes people like oh you hate on academics like nah i don't like the shit he did with takashi i don't like some of the things he represents but you have to respect his hustle and his grind and how he got to where he got and hip hop, you can't hate on that because then you're just a hater and you're not just you're not looking at forward progress and progression and um same shit redundant statement um you, you can't look at that type of shit and see people accomplishing things and try to shit on it and act like they they're not accomplishing shit because that's being a hater at the end of the day we see what he is out here he has a large platform he's a large force out here complex was slowing him down I look at it like academics actively fired complex from wasting his time but you know it is what it is hopefully more people just take that solo independent be a boss yourself instead of being some high paid employee for somebody else that's capitalizing way more off of you so it is what it is shout out to them um what else do we got here okay so this video was trending because ari fletcher was bouncing her cheeks on her gay best friend's side of his lap or something and everybody was going in on money bag, yo, like, yo, you just gonna let this, you know, this girl just do that. And then people were like, okay, other side of the fence, he's gay. There's no real interest there. It's not inappropriate. It's like her bouncing on her girlfriends. But I'm looking at that and I'm like, I'm confused. I don't know what to think because it's like, he's gay and all, but that's your girl clapping them cheeks on camera for everybody to see. He's recording the video. He's putting it out there. It's making you look like some sort of cuck, some sort of simp. Your girl's just out here doing whatever but it's a gay best friend i don't know my girl don't have gay best friends or gay friends i don't know how to maneuver through that that's weird i look at that and i'm like that's just weird i'd feel uncomfortable if i was money bag yo but is it something to call him a cuck a simp something eh, i don't know gray area cloudy area i don't know i really don't know how to put that or, or to look at that and put that into perspective but you know anything they do anything ari does especially twerking or shaking cheeks or anything she's gonna get attention i don't know how well obviously i know how but like clearly she can't commands a lot of attention and anything she does is gonna go viral so you know it is what it is uh what else do we got here we got any fights or some fuck shit okay here we go okay so there's a fight in uh chinese nail salon i don't know let's see the video and see where this is Oh my god, bro. All I want was fucking in a What? Check it out, baby. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, let's do it. Oh, let's do it. No, bro. Where that money at, bro? Where my money at, bro? Where that money at? What the fuck are y'all talking about? You stay standing me, bro. Please don't go. Don't say my boyfriend. I'm sorry, bro. 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 I'm sorry, bro.
Okay, uh, that's wild. I don't understand why. I don't understand why that woman would think she would get her money back after her boyfriend tore that store up. They cost them so much money and expenses from how much damage the man did. I don't know why he wanted his money back. I don't know what type of disservice they did for him to want his refund and his money back. A lot of times when you see these viral videos, you don't get the full story. You see what happens, like a little quick video, and then you react. But if you don't get that bullshit out of my definitely face, definitely ain't getting your money back when you fuck up the store like that. Like even if you were wrong to, be, or even if you were right to begin with, and the the Asian store was wrong, you were definitely wrong in the end when you fucked up that store and requested your money back after you trashed the whole store. And the girl's like, "Where's my money? I'm gonna get my money back?" It's like, seriously, you're standing there really asking for your money back tripping and it just had to be niggas just had to be niggas i see this i'm like ah oh, god damn it niggas fucking up another shop god damn it jeez all right what else do we got here okay so tory lane's getting dragged again in regards to another meg the stallion situation meg was recently on the gram just twerking doing her thing just having fun classic regular meg shit tory comes and tweets all that for the gram but couldn't take no dick and everybody just went in and just like, holy shit, this nigga, nigga might be missing some pussy, blah, blah, blah. Talking about his case, everyone going in. And I'm just like, yo, why? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, why would you do this? Why would you make yourself a target for the media in relation to this woman again? Why? What are you doing that for? It makes no sense to me. The whole situation with Tori and Meg's always been weird. And it gets weirder and weirder and weirder. It's like, if you shot that girl, why would you even tweet that shit? Why would you continue? And it's like, there's always new, ang like, I just don't know, man. I don't know. Nothing to say about that. Um, I need some people to keep the same energy when it comes to uh, domestic disputes. Because recently, this kind of goes into the whole Tory Meg thing. Because Tory allegedly shot meg everybody went in on tory i even said if he did it he's a bitch nigga but i'm still reserving judgment until the case is finished but everybody went in on tory so recently this girl this female rap or r&b singer shot her boyfriend in the head for cheating on her what's her name let me find the picture god damn it i just remember this story i didn't even save none of this shit to take it down but really and truly what's her name Anne marie Anne-Marie, R&B singer from, was it Chicago or Detroit? God damn it, off the dominology, forgive me. I'll probably fill it in in the comment section if I got it wrong when I research it after. But she shot her boyfriend in the head because he cheated on her. And there's no energy for this woman. Like, you just, she couldn't just take her L? Like, people cheat. It's wrong, obviously. Take your shit and leave. To shoot a nigga in the head for cheating on you? Now she's arrested facing how many years i don't even know if he died i hear shot in the head i automatically assume he died but no one said dead there's no reports of killed it's just shot in the head so she couldn't just take her l it's not that serious to kill somebody or try to kill someone shooting them in the head over cheating so i need to see that same energy for her of course it's not same profile not same high profile people involved in the case like tori and meg very high profile stars Anne Marie, basic no name brand, her boyfriend, who knows who he was. So it's not the same type of energy. But at the same time, I need people that bring that domestic dispute energy for that side to bring it all the way on the women when the women are fucking up too. Because, you know, we're going to have more Amber Heard situations if women don't get held accountable for their sides too. So, you know, it is what it is. But with that being said, I'm probably going to wrap up this episode. Make sure that you subscribe to the podcast, to the YouTube channel to the uh podcast on apple podcast spotify or wherever you download the podcast and yo we right back at it yeah